Now when I'm using a command like erase that requires a selection set and the objects that I want to select don't fit in a regular rectangular window. For example, let's say I wanted to erase these small circles and these small circles. Uh, one of my other options I have is a window polygon. To uh, activate that, once, I, once I've activated my command, I'll type in WP for window polygon from the keyboard, hit enter, and now it's asking me for my first polygon point. Um, I'm going to click on a point for the polygon, click to start drawing the polygon. It doesn't matter what direction I pull this, this will be a polygon. So I'll click here, I'm going to come over to this side and click, and it will continue um, until I hit the space bar or enter to let it know that I'm done with my polygon selection box. So I'm going to hit the space bar, and you notice that only those uh, small circles are uh, selected as part of my selection set because they were inside the polygon window. When I hit enter they are erased. We're now going to look at using a crossing polygon uh, for a selection set. So I'm going to activate my erase command and I want to select all of these uh, large circles and maybe one of these small ones. To do that I'm going to use a crossing polygon I have to enter CP from the keyboard to activate it and hit enter. And now it wants the first point of the polygon. So I'm going to make sure that I get all of these circles uh, inside that polygon. And then I'm going to get that little circle too. So everything that crosses this polygon is going to be included in the selection set and it's going to be taken out. So you can be pretty precise with a, uh, a crossing polygon. We're going to look at the application of using the fence command for a selection set. Uh, here's a situation where I have a series of objects that are drawn and I want to erase the red ones. I could pick them individually start my uh, erase command and pick on each one of these objects individually or I have another option that is a fence. To activate this I would hit F from the keyboard for fence and hit enter and now it says to specify the first point of the fence. I'm going to go ahead and go right to this object and I can even snap to it and it looks like I'm drawing a line and actually what I'm doing is I'm drawing a line that acts as a selection fence. And I can keep drawing the line and every object that crosses this fence is going to be selected when I hit enter. So now you can see that all of those objects were selected and now I can hit enter and erase them. If I wanted to select all of the objects that are in the drawing, uh, to erase or manipulate or change their layer. Uh, the quickest way to do that is to use my all command. I'm going to use erase and because I want to erase everything I'm going to type all from the keyboard and hit enter. Now you'll notice that it um, tells me how many objects were found and how many objects are not in the current space. So it's not only selecting the visible objects but it's also selecting objects that are on other layers that aren't currently visible. When I hit the space bar, all of the objects that were selected uh, are erased. I can select everything in the, in the drawing by using my select all command without having a command active. Uh, you notice that on the command line I have no command active. I'm going to hold down the control key and hit A for all. Control A will select all the objects. You can see the blue grips have lit up on all of the objects. When I right click my mouse from the pop-up menu I can use one of my modify commands. So in this case I'll choose erase and all of the objects are erased including all of the objects that were on uh, other layers. When I want to manipulate an object quickly after drawing it my last command 
uh, is a handy one for making selections. Here I've just drawn a rectangle and I now want to rotate that rectangle. I click on the rotate command and when it says select objects I hit L from the keyboard for last object and the last object that I've drawn is selected. I can then hit enter uh, to uh, end the selection and in this case I need a base point for my rotation and I can rotate my object. When you're working with selection sets, AutoCAD keeps track of the selection sets that you have used and you can use previous selection sets. Um, I'm going to move a section of, these, uh, of this array. So I'm going to use the move command and when it wants me to select objects, I'm going to use a window selection. So I've selected these objects and for a base point of displacement, I'm going to uh, click and move these objects over here. Now say I wanted to rotate these objects, um, I could get a rotate command and when it says select, um, I'm going to enter P from the keyboard and it will select the previous selection set. So I don't have to go through selecting all of those again, I can just hit P from the keyboard enter to be done selecting a base point and uh, I can rotate that set of objects.